write your goals down. This is so important. When you write something down, you are stating your intentions and setting things in motion. Put them where you can see them. Don't just write them in your phone notes and never look at them again, okay? Make sure they're in front of you. And on those days when you're tired and don't wanna keep going, get them out, look at them again as a reminder that you can do this. Welcome to the Workforce Link podcast, where we're offering forward-thinking conversations for the workforce, linking employers and job seekers to a brighter tomorrow. I'm your host, Sunday Joe Graham, and I am excited to be back for another podcast episode with you. So today, we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, goals. I am a huge advocate for setting achievable goals in every area of our lives, financially, personally, physically, career, etc. And though any time is a good time to start achieving your goals, what better way to get re-inspired than at the beginning of a new year? No matter what role you're in or what industry you're in, it is important to set goals for your career. You know, they keep us moving forward. They help us get unstuck. They give us something to work towards. So today we are going to dive in on how to set and achieve your career goals so that you can go to the next level in this new year. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we talk about setting our goals, let's talk first about what they are. So career goals describe what you want to do and how you plan to get there. So think of them as an agreement that you make with yourself, a a promise that you will do what you need to do to move forward in your career. You know, having your career goals in front of you will help you see clearly where you want to be next year and in five years and 10 years, etc. Having them in front of you is a great reminder that that you're in charge of making your future what you want it to be. And that is actually in every area of life, right? Not just a career. You know, maybe you have no clue what you want to do yet. Or I say this to clients often, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Guess what? That's okay. Setting career goals can help you figure that out. Setting both short-term and long-term goals helps you have a clearer picture of where you're going. It helps you be specific. And speaking of short-term and long-term goals, we're actually going to break those down together today because sometimes we can get caught up in dreaming about our future, right? And, And we get so caught up in that that it becomes so overwhelming that we give up before we ever even get started. But I want to help you not do that today, okay? So let's talk first about short-term goals. So your short-term goals are going to help you work towards the bigger picture, towards the the long-term goals. And sometimes we need to focus on the short-term career goals for a while before we can even start to take action, right, on those big long-term goals. And that is okay. So here are some examples of setting short-term career goals. Uh, Start with your paycheck, right? It, It sounds silly, it sounds simple, but it's not. Sometimes the only thing that you can focus on right now is making sure you have a steady income, and that is okay. You know, maybe you got laid off, maybe you lost your job altogether, maybe you're struggling to make ends meet. Figure out what you need to do to provide for yourself and your family if you have one. Set a goal to earn a steady paycheck for a, for a certain amount of time, maybe six months. You know, it's, it's hard to dream about what we want to do in the long term, right? If we're, if we're struggling to put food on the table. So once you find more stability, you, you can think about the career that you really want to pursue and you can start moving toward it. And then you'll be able to think more clearly, right? Okay, the second example, connecting with the right people. So there's power in networking. Making genuine connections is important, which is a great short-term goal that leads to the long-term, right? Making new connections now leads to bigger and better job opportunities. And there are so many ways to network. You know, make a list of people you know. Ask your friends. And and this is where social media can be so great, right? Because you have the opportunity to meet so many people. And I think we should actually probably do an episode on this. I can't believe we haven't done an episode on networking yet, but uh, we should do that in the future for sure. Another example, start training or earning certifications or go back to school if you need to, right? Maybe there's a certain qualification that you need for the career you want. Start working on that now. Make that a short-term goal to get to your long-term goal. Maybe you need specific training to to get into that career. Uh, Is there a company that you can train with? 
And the answer to that is actually yes. Uh, Our job centers, we offer on-the-job training to clients, which is really great because we get to team you up with an employer who needs employees, right? Who needs team members and you get a paycheck while you get trained to do something you enjoy. I will actually share the link to more information on our on the job training. I'll share that in the show notes for you. Or maybe now is the time to start returning to school. Maybe it's time to to learn more about the field that you want to work in. Maybe an internship. Maybe just a a specific course that you want to take. I do this all the time with things that I want to learn. I'll go find a course online and and, uh, sign up and specifically um, focus on that, take that course so that I can learn more about the next step I need to take. And again, our job centers can help with that, with with internships, with with, uh, possible tuition assistance, things like that. We've we've sent clients back to school. We've provided paid internships because our goal is, at the job centers is to remove every possible barrier to your career because we want you to be successful, right? When you're successful, we're successful. Um, So another example, get clear on where you want to go in your career. So you can't set long-term goals without clarifying where you want to go. Make it a short-term goal to figure out what you really want to do. You know, maybe you're already in a long-term career, but you've decided you want to do something different. There is nothing wrong with that. And maybe this is the first time that you're figuring out your career direction. That's okay too, right? But now is the time to start honing in on what that looks like. You you can't achieve your goals without clarity. Without clarity, you'll never move past dreaming about what you want to do, okay? So spend some time processing your talents, your your passions, things like that. Do a career assessment. Uh, the state of Missouri actually offers Talify for free, which is you can get uh, feedback on work-related strengths. You can get career guidance, interview coaching, things like that. And it even helps you narrow down your soft skills. And again, I'll share the link in the show notes for you uh, for that. Or you can go to cwdregion.com uh, slash Talify and it'll take you there. But again, it's just a, it's another free tool that the state of Missouri provides. And then there's also our ONET interest profiler, which helps you uh, find out your interests and, and how they relate to the world of work. It kind of helps you figure out what you want to be uh, when you grow up, right? You can find out what you like to do. And again, I know I've given a lot of links, but I will share all the links to everything I talk about today in the show notes for you. So you don't have to write anything down. Um, You can get to it all at the end of this episode, okay? All right, uh, another example, get started. Yes, I know that might sound silly, but it's true. You have to start, right? If If you're gonna be purposeful about getting on the career pathway that you want and achieving your dreams. And this could look different for for everybody. You know, maybe it's a a part-time job at an employer that you really like. Maybe it's a side hustle doing something you love. Start somewhere and work your way up, okay? But the key is starting. You have to start somewhere. Do you want hands-on experience as you decide what career you want to pursue? Through on-the-job training, work experiences, and apprenticeships, Central Missouri Job Center staff are ready to help set you up for success today. Learn more about our on-the-job training program, an excellent opportunity to get hands-on experience from an employer while earning a paycheck. It's a win-win for everyone. Employers get the workforce they need, and you get the experience you need. Or there's our work experience program available to job seekers ages 14 to 24 who have little or no past work experience. This provides the opportunity to meet with prospective employees while also taking advantage of critical workplace training. Gaining work experience gives you the needed work background to secure future jobs. Our registered apprenticeship opportunities are an alternative earn while learning combination of training and employment. Apprentice workers gradually earn more as they reach higher levels of productivity. A registered apprenticeship combines employer-driven, job-related instruction with extensive learning under the supervision of a trade professional. After completing a registered apprenticeship, the apprentice receives a nationally recognized occupational credential that communicates the standards and high level of training that their employer provides. To learn more about our work-based learning programs, visit cwdregion.com slash learning today or find the Central Region Job Center near you. Again, that's cwdregion.com slash learning. And now back to the show. So now let's talk about long-term career goals. Maybe you want to be known as an expert in your field. Maybe you want to be the president of a company. Maybe you want to branch out and start your own plumbing company. Maybe you want to be the lead nurse at the hospital. Whatever it is that you want to do, you need to set some long-term goals to make sure you're on the right track to getting there. So here are some examples of long-term goals that you can pursue. Become a leader. 
You know, sometimes I think we get this idea that we have to be in some type of leadership role to be a leader, but that's really far from the truth. Great leadership can be a skill for anybody, whether in a leadership role or not. Consider volunteering to lead a specific project at work, and then you can set a goal to lead a bigger project or even lead a team. You know, it's going to take some hard work, and it also is going to take the willingness to be teachable, but you can do it, okay? And guess what? If being a leader isn't something you want, that's okay too. Another example, leave a legacy. You know, how are people going to remember you? How will the generations after you be impacted by your work? Leave an impact worth remembering. That should be a goal for all of us. Leave something behind that continues to bring change. You know, maybe write a book. Leave an inheritance to your grandkids, right? None of these things are beyond a possibility for you if you start pursuing them today, okay? Another example, to land your dream job. That should be a great long-term goal, right? This goal, it might be a few years away, and that's okay. But know what you want to do. Make sure it's in front of you, like I said, so that you can keep pushing forward to land that dream job. But you need to be willing to do what it takes for however long it takes, right? So ask yourself that question right now. Am I willing? Am I willing to do what it takes? And if, if you've been implementing some of the short-term goals, right, that we talked about, you're already working towards achieving that, to achieving that long-term goal. So the examples that I gave you for both short-term and long-term goals, they're definitely not an exhaustive list, okay? These were just some ideas to get you started. All right, now that you have an idea of the goals that you want to pursue and achieve, let's work on making them even more specific. Setting smarter goals will get you on the right track faster. Notice I didn't say smart goals. So I used to just focus on smart goals, but my friend and, and founder of Full Focus, Michael Hyatt, which you hear me talk about a lot on this podcast, introduced me to the smarter framework in his best year ever goal setting course. So let's break down for a minute what smarter goals are, okay? So Hyatt says, in my smarter version, goals must meet seven criteria. Number one, they must be specific. Your goals must identify exactly what you want to accomplish, okay? You want to be as specific as possible. Number two, your goals should be measurable. So as the old quote goes, you can't manage what you can't measure. So if possible, try to quantify the result. You want to know absolutely, positively, whether or not you hit the goal. Okay, number three, your goals should be actionable. Every goal should start with an action verb. For example, quit, run, finish, eliminate, things like that. Okay, you want to make them an action verb versus a to be verb, which is things like am or be or have, right? That gives you more uh, control over taking action, okay? Number four, you want your goals to be risky. So a good goal should stretch you, but not too much, okay? So go right up to the edge of your comfort zone. And then step over it, Michael says. If, if you're not out of your comfort zone, you're not thinking big enough. Okay, number five, your goal should be time keyed. Every goal needs a date associated with it. So when do you plan to deliver on that goal? Could be by year end, right? December 31st, could be more near, near term, March 31st. A goal without a date is just a dream. I'm gonna say that again because it's one of my favorite quotes. A goal without a date is just a dream. Make sure that every goal ends with a buy win date, okay? Number six, make your goals exciting. You should be personally excited about achieving the goal, okay? If this isn't the case, then you, you probably aren't going to have the motivation necessary to continue pursuing the goal, especially when things get hard, when you, when you encounter those unexpected challenges, okay? You don't want to quit, so make your goals exciting. Number seven, you want to make your goals relevant. So it should be aligned with, relevant with your values, your, your season in life, right? And other goals. So you want to make your goals relevant, okay? So, so you don't want to say, um, you know, I'm going to go run a marathon when you've never run a 5K before, right? Because that's probably not realistic. So make them relevant, okay? And I would add a couple more things to this. Make sure your goals are your own, okay? You don't want your boss's goals, you don't want your best friend's goals. You don't want your spouse's goals. You want your goals, okay? People, they're gonna have a lot of ideas for what they think you should do and what you should achieve. And, and they are doing it a, a lot of times with the right motive, right? But make sure you have your own ideas. It's much harder to devote your heart and your time to achieving goals and dreams when they're not yours. And that doesn't mean that you can't hear suggestions, okay? But at the end of the day, make sure you're achieving what you believe you're supposed to be achieving. 
And then secondly, I would say, write your goals down. This is so, so important, I promise you. When you write something down, you are stating your intention and setting things in motion. So put them where you can see them, okay? Don't just write them in your phone notes and never look at them again, okay? Make sure they're in front of you at least once a day. And on those days when you're when you're tired and you don't wanna keep going, get them out, look at them again, and remind yourself that you can do this, okay? So I know I touched on Hyatt's Your Best Year Ever Goal Setting Course, but I wanted to share just a bit more information with you because it truly is game changing for not just your career related dreams, but any goals and dreams that you want to accomplish in your life. You know, most people begin each year with with vague hopes for life change. So they end each year unsure of whether or not they accomplished anything. And they're they're wondering, like they're asking themselves what went wrong, right? But the truth is, it's not always their fault. It's, it's that nobody showed them how to use the science-based system to achieve goals. So once you understand that system, achieving goals is so much easier. And, and every day you make steady progress toward the life that you want, right? Until you see it all around you. And that's what I love about the, the Your Best Year Ever Goal Setting course. I've actually been walking through this, through this course, setting goals through this course every year since 2015. So here's what you actually learn in the course. You learn how to create annual goals. So this is where you you learn how to use the Smarter Goals framework that we talked about. And you, you have other tools to increase your likelihood of achievement before you take any action. Then you're also going to learn how to position yourself for success. So you learn the, the techniques that you need to position yourself mentally, emotionally, physically for success. You also learn how to create habits that stick. So have you ever tried to form a new habit only to, to fall off track after a few weeks? Totally guilty here raising my hand. Well, in this, you're going to learn how to create and keep new habits without having to have all the willpower. So you're also going to learn how to move from goal setting to goal achievement. You know, our, our goals tend to get lost in the busyness of life. And in this section of the course, you actually learn how to connect your big goals to daily actions so that you're consistently making progress without getting overwhelmed or without getting sidetracked. And you're also going to learn how to overcome obstacles to goal achievement. So regardless of what you're trying to achieve, obstacles are guaranteed, right? You're going to learn how to overcome the predictable hurdles. You, and you're also going to get five proven strategies for getting back on track when your goals are hopelessly behind. So I know that's a lot, but I'm telling you, it's an exciting program. But if you're interested in it, if you're interested in the best year ever course, I'm going to share the link in the show notes for you. Okay. There is a, a lot of persistence needed when pursuing your career goals. And there's a lot of patience that's needed too. No matter how big or small the goal is, you need both, okay? So keep going. You can do this, all right? If you've enjoyed today's episode, would you mind sharing it with somebody else that you think could benefit? You know, maybe you have a friend or a, a coworker who needs a little nudge in the right direction toward achieving his or her goals, all right? Share with them because sharing is caring. And the more you share, the more people that we get the opportunity to help, okay? And thank you in advance for doing so. And if you need any assistance with learning about our on-the-job training, internship programs, strengths and career assessments, job search assistance, our Job Center staff would love to help you, okay? And you can find the closest job center to you at cwdregion.com slash job centers. And again, I will share the link in the show notes for you. Have a great week, my friend, and we will meet again in the next episode. And I guess we will meet again next year. Until then, remember this, there's always a brighter tomorrow if you're willing to find it. The Central Region Workforce Development Board Incorporated and COPIC are equal opportunity employers and programs. Auxiliary aids and services are available upon request to individuals with disabilities. Missouri Relay Services at 711.